everybody see here welcome back to some more satisfactory we are back we're doing the things for this stuff we had an absolutely fantastic stream last night the, well, yeah time recording this yesterday and it was such a good time we got a whole bunch of grindy stuff done and i'm just excited to be back playing some more so a uh, couple updates real quick one huge shout out to logic servers for uh, providing the server link down below if you want to get 20 percent off of their um off your first month if you use the link down below secondly the server shenanigans is coming uh it is going to be saturday the 13th at 1 p.m central standard time i tried to do 1 p.m central standard time so that way people in the uk could get on people in you know across the united states could get on it's on a saturday so hopefully hopefully people aren't working so hopefully we can get as many people on now the goal of this is basically to get everybody on at one time we're gonna slam the server. We're gonna see how many people we can get going. We're gonna see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. Um, and it's not gonna be a community server. It's just gonna be a one-time thing. I'm gonna be recording it. We're gonna be making an episode out of it. So I need as many people to get there as possible. I think the server uh, that we're working on is going to have 128 slots. So if you wanna be part of it, make sure you join the Discord down below because I'm gonna coordinate everything through the Discord. It's just the easiest way to do it. So make sure you're part of the Discord if you wanna participate in the server shenanigans, having hopefully, 100 plus people on a server and uh seeing how things go but all right so let's get rock and rolling now during our live stream if you guys missed it i, I go you go check it out so uh, there's a vod for it you can go check it out and watch it it's, it was a good time we had a, an absolute blast um i got pelted with nerf darts all the like you know left and right um we got our copper situation figured out so we got our uh, a copper is going and then we also had to redo our uh, our steel area so our steel area got redone um it's all fine and dandy now as you can see we got we got steel stuff here um i was supposed to get this cleared out as uh actually it's it's empty now nice awesome all right so our steel stuff is good we've got encased industrial beams we've got uh, concrete being made in case industrial beams, all that fun stuff but today's video is about the hyper tubes Ooh, we've got some hyper tubes i am so excited because hyper tubes are one of those things oh they just make everything so much better so let's head on over actually i think i already have them unlocked if i'm not mistaken i think um is that transportation yes oh my gosh hyper tube hyper tube entrance hyper tube support stackable hyper tubes <gasps> we've got all the hyper tube things now uh there's also a couple other hyper tube stuff that we want to get um specifically the wall attachments this one we definitely want that so we're gonna grab those i should have some tickets i've got nine awesome let's go ahead and grab those and let's grab our hyper two wall attachments and then is there anything else that we need um I'm, i say need is there anything else that we need right now there's a lot of stuff that i want but oh i'd like to get all this stuff equipment coffee cup beacons parts uh no we're just gonna stick with that for now let's go ahead and buy those wonderful wonderful and then i'm gonna put the rest of my tickets in here so i don't lose them <laughs> awesome okay so now hyper tube stuff hyper tube uh wall support hyper tube wall hole so what i want do i have any um do i have any copper sheeting i don't let's go grab some copper sheeting because that requires copper sheeting right yes okay cool so let's go grab some copper sheeting and then let's get some hyper tubes built here um that's gonna make our lives so much easier what we're gonna do and what i think we're gonna do is we have these stairs going to the floors but stairs are for losers stairs are for people who want to use their legs i want to use hyper tubes because hyper tubes are the way of the future so what i'm thinking is i don't really know of like a uh i don't really like know like a super good way to do this but i'm just gonna do it like right here so uh we obviously don't need we have a door to go to this floor right here so i'm thinking that we throw a wall hole in here does this open up for us no okay so we have to put an entrance uh oh i need encased industrial beams and rotors awesome let's go grab those real quick all right perfect so what i want to do and i want to try to keep things like organized and like the same uh is let's see let's go ahead and grab this let's throw oh there's a thing there all right let's throw that door there let's do this instead i mean that does open up when i get close to it, but it's not an entrance i don't think so let's do this let's let's swap these around a little bit here let's put that there grab a door throw a door here and then 
Hypertube wall hole. So second floor, third floor, second floor, third floor. And then what I want to do, hypertube entrance. There, 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 and there. Okay. So we've got those. So the second floor one needs to just go up one level. Um, ooh, is there a hypertube floor attachment? Interesting. There's actually not a hypertube floor attachment. I wonder if I don't think that I don't think that'll work because it says specifically wall. Must snap to a wall or similar. Hmm. Well, I guess we can just go ahead and do this. Pull this one out. And then what we're going to do is hypertube support. Can't get that up there, can I? Darn it. I need to get up there. I need to get up to the second floor. Okay, so... Here we go. Hypertube support, um, basically right here. One there. And then one there. And then we'll throw an entrance on those as well. So an entrance there. Entrance there. And we should be able to connect up this tube to there. This tube. No, what the heck? That tube to there, and then entrance right there. Okay, so now these also need powered, but that's gonna give us up CD. That's gonna take us up and down like way, way easier. And then what we could also do is we could actually enclose this like a so. Like that, and then we could throw hypertube wall hole. Invalid aim location. You know what? I'm gonna have to do this. Wall hole. That's probably not connected now. Let's see here. Let's redo this one. Are we good now? How come that doesn't go through there? <laughs> Why? Why not? Is this already an entrance? Okay, so let's try this here. Uh, we do need power. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's get the uh, let's get those wall power attachments as well. We're gonna need those, and of course, I can't get in and out of here right now because like I don't have a way to get out. Okay, so there's our wall power attachments. That will make uh, our organization for wiring a little bit better. Let's see. Power. Do I want double wall? Um, oh, I'm missing wire. Yeah, we'll do double walls because, like, might as well. So we'll throw that there. Then we'll throw that there. And then what we can do is we can run a power line... From oh, I'm missing cable too. Oh my gosh, my inventory is all kinds of messed up because we were moving things around yesterday, so I was just like dumping everything. <laughs> it's like I don't have anything that I need now. Alright, so there's that. And then we can run this one up to here, run this one to there, run that one to there, this one to there, then this one to here. Alright, let's see how this works here. Slurp! Okay, it totally works. And slurp! Look at that. Oh my gosh. And zerp. We're going to floor three. Oh, that is so much better. That is so much better. Okay, we're gonna have to redo this one though, because um we need to we need to get the wall in here and put all that fun stuff. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Okay. Wall, basic wall. Let's get that in here. And then uh transportation. Okay, wall hole. Hypertube entrance. And then hypertube. All right, and then let's go ahead and grab another wall here, there. And 
then let's go ahead and put another power deal there to there. Okay. Oh my gosh. Is this Zerp? Oh, this is so much better than stairs. Grab what we need. Okay, so now, now that we have this figured out, we can kind of figure out what we want to do with it. So ideally, what's going to happen is that our storages for these items are going to be right behind these doors. So like this guy is making copper. No, this guy's not making copper sheeting. Oh, the stuff's over here. You know what though? That's accessible from there. So we don't really need to worry about that. But on our second and third floors, we're going to try to make sure that our storage outputs are going to be like right here. So we can come up here, grab what we need to do and pop back down if we need to. And then third floor, same thing. Um, now, third floor is going to be, like I said, it's going to be primarily a, uh, a belt spaghetti factory floor. Um, <laughs> but that's okay. Now, another thing that I really want to go with these, I want signs. I want signage. You know what I mean? I want some signs. So, I think we're going to have to unlock... I think we're going to need probably quartz for that. I'm go Actually, let's check, the, let's check the tier tree or the ma'am. Oh, you don't... Yeah, the ma'am's still over here. Let's see if it says signs anywhere for quartz. Because if it does, I might want to go get some quartz going here. Oh, it doesn't say specifically. Darn it. Okay. I think it's under quartz. Let me do some research. Okay. So signs are signs are needed for, or quartz is needed for signs. So let's do this. We're gonna go. So we're gonna go find some. We're gonna go find some quartz here. I think quartz is like way, way over there, if I'm not mistaken. Like I think that's the closest quartz to us. So 822 meters over there. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to head over there. Um, I want to get... We need quartz crystal, I believe. So for quartz... Um, quartz crystals, we need 20 quartz for that. That's only three... What the heck? Oh, okay. So let's go grab some quartz. Let's set that up real quick. Uh, so we'll just throw a miner on it and try to get some quartz going here. Uh, production. Let's go and get a miner mark two on there. What do I need for that? Um, I need two miners, portable miners, uh, a one and a two. And then we're going to need a boatload of, con of concrete. And uh, yeah, we're going to need a boatload of concrete. Uh, let's go and put the wood away. Let's put that away. Raw stuff. We don't need those. Uh, all right. So let's grab some concrete and let's grab some plates. And we're going to make our way to get some quartz. Okay, so quartz, it's it's basically over. I think it's over here right behind the right behind that hill, that mountainous area. So how do I wanna run? I wanna make a run that's all the way over there. Um basically actually if I go off of this floor right here, that'd probably work. Hmm. Let's go off of that floor back there, because I think we're gonna end up using a train for that anyways. Oh, there's a crash down there interesting right there i wonder if there's any nodes or anything huh oh my gosh oh that was way 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 too close for comfort okay let's just keep going oh my gosh i got like oh my heart was racing i thought i was gonna fall off of it oh wow that's giving me anxiety let's not do that <laughs> and let's not do that Ooh, there's some coal over here as well let's go ahead and let's get this foundation extended out for this coal too because we're gonna need that uh, this thing is minorly in the way. And then quartz is right there. So let's go ahead and let's break off. Let's go right here and then head all the way over here. Man, those almost look like geothermal vents right there. Don't those look like geothermal vents? Weird. That's what it looks like. Wait a second. You know what they added? It is. Ooh, that's a power source. But then we have to put little things on the outside ones too. Oh yeah, I see that was the update that I I never I didn't really play update 4 a lot. So that's something new that I'm going to explore. Um I know it's not new to everybody else, but it's new to me and I'm excited about it. Darn, I should have brought more than one miner over here, huh? <laughs> well, uh, live and learn, right? Okay, so we've got a little remote platform over here. This will probably be a, like a little remote quartz refining area. Uh, let's go ahead and get our miner on here. Place that down. Let's get a logistics Mark three belt. Oh, no. Uh, can, yeah, that was right. Bring that up here. 
Now, I do need to hook up power and all that fun stuff, but that's fine. We'll get to it. Okay, and then let's get some organization. Let's just get an industrial storage container for now. Go ahead and rot rot rotate it around that way. And then logistics, this bad boy. Boom, boom. Okay, fantastic. So that'll go there. That'll get some quartz crystal, quartz crystal, so then we can start doing that fun stuff. Um, let's go ahead and get power nodes ran. You know what? Actually, I want to take this opportunity too to talk about our, our factory here. So uh, as you can see, it's slowly getting there. And once we actually make it into a tower, uh, it was going to be red spire, but I think it's going to have to be dark spire because it's just black. So like, <laughs> it's not going to be red spire anymore. I think we're going to just call it dark spire uh, because why not? I think that name's uh, fitting. Oh, really? And just make it all the way to right here. Yeah, I think it's just going to be more appropriate. And once we actually get like the walls and stuff like that up, it, it'll make more sense. Ooh, this is nice. We can actually like automatically click into uh, to wall deals. We're going to go ahead and do that. We could actually run the, the wires on the inside and then you won't even see these. But you know what? Uh, let's just run it to there. Okay, so now the court should be going. Let's head back. We'll grab some. It should already fire up, and we should be getting a bunch. And then we'll bring a whole bunch back with us and get that research up. You know, honestly, I might as well run a hyper two out here. Like, I mean, you might as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get a support right here. We'll just throw it right here for now. Ooh, I'm not going to have enough to make it all the way there. <laughs> oh, well. And we are officially out of stuff. Okay. That's all right. We, we made it like halfway ish. Oh, yeah. Look at all that quartz coming in. Ooh, fancy, fancy. How much do you think we already have? Um, oh, yep. We got a good amount. All right. Let's head back. You know what? Just throw an entrance right here. And we're hyper tubing back, baby. Oh, I forgot how much nicer hyper tubes are than walking. I think hypertubes are the premium mode of transportation. What is your favorite mo mode of transportation? Leave a comment down below. Um, the dune buggy is pretty fun, but I feel like hypertubes are just like the absolute way to go. They are absolutely amazing. And we're already, already done. Okay. Oh my gosh. I love those things so much. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's throw quartz here. Start research. I believe that is what we need. Let's go ahead and do this one as well. New recipe unlocked. New recipe unlocked. Now. New research available in the MAM. Awesome. Is there new items at the awesome shop though? We're looking for the displays, the signs, walls. Uh, organization. <gasps> oh my gosh, there they are. Oh wow. Billboard set, display sign bundle, label sign. Oh, I want all of them. Uh, two, five, and ten. So we need a total of seventeen tickets for this. Let's see, seventeen tickets. Let's throw. Let's do this. Let's throw encased industrial beams in here. Encased industrial beams are a pretty uh, a pretty decent way for us to make some tickets right now. All right, so we got some tickets being made now. Uh, quartz. We can actually ref refine that into what is that? Is that a is that a constructor kind of thing that takes it into the quartz crystal? Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's do that. How many of these can we build? Constructors. Uh, we can build a few. Let's just get that processing into quartz crystal. So that way we're good. And then let's actually go ahead and let's grab. I'll sort this. Um, actually, let's dump that raw crystal as well. And then let's come over here and grab some pipes so we can uh, extend our hypertube out. Okay. Hypertube is good. Why is this taking so long to go in there? It looks so weird. I'm just the visuals with the server stuff. It's, it's just kind of interesting right now. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get some production going here. We're just going to get some basic uh, constructors in here. Nothing super crazy. Let's see. Let's go ahead and leave uh, two foundations. Do one there. One there. I don't think we need any raw quartz for anything. So we'll just run these three machines making quartz crystal. And then later we will figure out what we actually need to do with it. Um, and then let's go ahead and do a perfect 90 to like right here. Run this down here. Super quick quartz setup just to get us kind of running. 
Then we're gonna need some splitters on here. One there, one there, and one there. Perfect. Look at this. And I know we need the quartz crystal in order to make the signs. I think it's quartz, quartz crystal and plating. All right, quartz crystal is being made. How many do they need per minute? 37.5. Uh, what are we even producing on this guy? I don't even know. I'm not going down there. It's death down there right now for us. So no, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here for a minute uh, so we can get a decent, just a decent amount of quartz crystal made up. That way we can take it back. We can unlock the signs and get our plates and then get some signage going. I'm really excited about the signs and I want to try to unlock all of them so we can play with all of them and just kind of like see what's up with them. See, it's so weird going in. They're like, ert, 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 but then going out, they're just like flowing. <laughs> okay. We got like a hot 223 quartz crystal. So let's head back. Let's see if our resource sink has some tickets for us, get some screens unlocked and then we can label our hyper tubes and uh, kind of go from there. Now, I don't think this is gonna be like my final hypertube network. I I like, so I go back and forth. I like the idea of having like a centralized room to, that takes me everywhere. However, I also like, oh, no. Oh, I gotta fix that. Oh, I gotta fix that. <laughs> oh, darn it. Um, I like the idea of, of having a centralized room. However, I also just, like the simplicity of like okay if we're going to this area you know you go to here this stops for coal you want to go somewhere else you just hop into another one you know what i mean it kind of like simplicity you know it's very it's kind of easy all right resource sick is done oh my gosh 13 tickets heck yes we have enough tickets for all of the signage all right here we go uh label sign add to cart add that add that 17 tickets. Oh, that's expensive, but it's totally worth it. All right, let's see how this goes. Um, okay, let me put my ticket back. Hold on. I have one ticket left. Did it go in there? Okay, cool. So, uh, what is that? Architecture or is that logistics? Probably logistics, huh? No. Organization. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's look. Let's go ahead and let's place these signs down and let's look at each sign to see what they are. So. I have plenty of stuff for these. Okay, so we're gonna go from smallest to biggest. So there's a two meter, a three meter. There's the four. And then we got a display sign. A portrait sign. Oh, some of these require different items. <gasps> Those require crystal oscillators? Oh no. I don't have any crystal oscillators yet. Uh, hold on. Let me go grab some reinforced plates. I might be able to hand make some crystal oscillators. I'm not sure. No. Oh, you know what? We got to research it first, don't we? What do we need for, uh, the crystal oscillator? Ooh. Okay. Let me go grab some reinforced plates here. All right. Crystal oscillators. Let's get those going. And we'll see if we can make those by hand. Um... Let's see. Crystal oscillator. Okay, I can make six. Oh my gosh, it takes 36 crystal per deal. Woo! These are not cheap. Okay, there's four of them. Let's go see what we can get now. <laughs> I want to see each sign. Shenanigans, shenanigans. Shenanigans, shenanigans. How did they know that's what I wanted it to say? <laughs> okay, so here's our portrait sign. Uh, square sign. Oh, these are little tiny guys. Square, 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 billboard. Oh my gosh. And oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, that billboard is huge. Okay, hold on. I get more crystal oscillators are needed. All right, large billboard. Oh my gosh. Shenanigans, shenanigans, shenanigans. Oh my gosh. So like, look at the size. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Okay, 
So let's play with the large one. I mean, obviously, if we're going to play with them, we're going to play with the large one. Uh, configure large billboard. Okay, so we can select colors, select an icon, background, text, um, icons. Okay, so we've got buildings, equipment, monochrome, backgrounds. Oh, there's a background? What? So let's do that. Monochrome. Oh, it's just, okay, so we could do a background. So it's going to look like, oh, look at that. This is actually moving. That's kind of cool. Background, this guy. Oh, and then the whole thing. Okay, then our icon. So we got to have a building. Parts, equipment, monochrome, equipment. We'll put a barrel nut on there. <laughs> oh, no, we'll put it. We'll put a cyber wagon on there shenanigans and then select colors um let's see we do this so that makes the text red so then this might be so if i do this red oh holy moly okay so that does that so then we can make this white oh that's cool shenanigans <laughs> I love it. That is so funny. That is so funny. Um, save sign settings. Whoa. Everything looks pink. It's because it's that time of the day. Oh my gosh. That is so wonderful. The signs are amazing. Okay. So now, now realistically, um, I love these though. These are perfect for throwing on a storage container so you can see what's in it. Um, and I think this small one right here is probably, probably the one we're going to use for. So like we could put one there, we could put one there. My problem is edit sign. So like we could have this one just say, you know, uh, second floor if I could spell and then we could also put like what's going to be up there so like okay this is going to be I, I think it's going to be the next the next copper stuff so it's probably going to be like I honestly have no idea what's going to be up there uh, this thing and then we can see wait oh I didn't save it select image Um, let's see yes select save boom second floor shenanigans i like the shenanigans i think that's just like the perfect default thing and they can show what's up there oh my gosh this is amazing oh you know what no this is what you know what this this board needs to say hold on this is what this board needs to say there you go you're at here i mean that's all you ever see right <laughs> Oh my gosh, we could have billboards up and we could sell spots. <laughs> we could sell spots. Oh my gosh, have billboards all around here and we could sell advertisement spots. The only problem is like, it'd be kind of cool if you could upload your own image. Um, I could see how that could be very problematic because there's a lot of images on the internet that you don't want people to see. Um, but there's a lot of like, you know, I could upgrade like, or upload like my logo or like, I don't know, the logo of a company or like, you know, maybe like Logic Server since they're like, you know, have my server, like I have a little thing for that. That would be epic. I don't think there's... Let me look. I don't think there's an, an image thing that we can do this. So icon. Interesting. Oh my God. Now I'm curious if I can upload my own icons. Okay. So I did a rough search just to see if anybody figured out a way to like add custom, like, you know, images and logos. Uh, I can't really find anything. If you know, leave a comment down below. I'm curious um, because I was like, well, select image. So these are gotta be pulling from somewhere, like a, a you know an image file somewhere. So I was like, well, can we just like upload our own? You know, like that would be cool. But uh, they probably don't have it that easy <laughs> because then, like I said, things might get a little crazy. But I think it'd be cool, and uh, yeah, I think it'd be neat. So signs, we've got hyper tubes. Oh, super nice. But that, where's my flashlight? Nope. There it is. There's my flashlight. Okay, awesome. So wait a second, do these signs produce any? So if I put this sign as select colors, if we did the background pure white, does that actually put off any light? 
No, it actually doesn't put off any light. Okay, I was curious to see if... Oh my gosh. I wonder... Can't afford a missing and crystal oscillator. Oh, I have an idea. Are these seamless? So like... Uh, I need another crystal oscillator. Oh, I don't have the stuff for a crystal oscillator. Okay, we're going to take down... Well, I don't want to take down the big one. I don't want to take down the big one. I'm curious, actually. Because... You know what? We can put the big one back up when we're done. Okay, so if I put this here... And I configure this. Select colors. If I do white on this one, select colors, save and sign. Oh, they're not seamless. Okay. I was going to say, if they were seamless... Oh my gosh. That would be so trippy, because you could have a room completely full of signs. Uh... Okay, what if we do a background and we do this, save, and we do a background and do the same one, save. Oh my gosh. They perfectly go with each other. You know, if you wanted a factory that looked like completely crazy, insanely different, you could completely cover the outside and signs and the whole thing would look like it was moving. How far away before that animation stops rendering? Uh, oh, geez. I mean, you just can't hardly see it anymore. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is so cool. So signs are amazing. This is fantastic. I'm loving it. I'm going to take this one back off. I want the big one back up now. The big one's cool. I like the big one. Now, does that save to... Does it does it default to shenanigans again? Yes, it does. Okay. <laughs> There's our you're at here. Wait, hold on. No, we need the Cybertruck back. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. But uh, yeah, that's actually going to end this episode. So we got... Uh, we got some hypertubes in and we got some signs and that's what I want to focus on I want to check out the hypertubes again, which we already knew how those were but the signs the signs Ooh, they're fun. They're cool. They're neat. I like them. Leave a comment Let me know what you think down below and uh, yeah next episode We'll probably focus more on getting more hypertubes set up and we also need to get the next tier of items going so we need to get um, staters and motors rotors Staters. We need staters and motors, and then we also need to get some crystal refinement going. And we are pretty much done with research-wise, except we just need to get, like, the next tier stuff made. So we're probably going to focus on that a little bit as well. But like I said, thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed If you did, maybe consider leaving a like down below. And if you think I earned it, maybe consider subscribing as well for some more. So huge shout-out to all you wonderful people for supporting the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody!